So Tibetan Buddhism has a strong element of Vajrayana practice teachings. Although there are other uh, you know, the uh, uh, Buddhist, Mahayana Buddhist traditions like uh, Korean, like Japanese, and also China, they also have some form of Vajrayana practice. But this kind of what we call the, all the four classes of Vajrayana practice and teachings are only in, as far as I know, only in the Tibetan Buddhist tradition. So because of having these kind of many different aspects of the deities and many different ways to practice this deity practice. And some are, as you said, very colorful, some are very fearful, some are very peaceful, the images of the deities. If the individuals are uh, interested in practicing the Vajrayana in general, and in this case I'm talking about Tibetan Buddhism, it is very, very useful, again I will uh, you know, uh, say this, very, very useful to set the ground well, build the, uh, build the foundation well. Without the foundation, you can't build the wall and the roof. So the foundation is, you know, the, the teachings that Buddha taught in the Theravadan tradition, to have those understanding, have those practice, and the teachings that Buddha taught in the uh, bodhisattva in a you know, bodhicitta, understanding of emptiness. So when these foundations are in you know, a well sort of led uh, and prepared, individuals are gone through that, then you don't need to ask, I'm interested in Vajrayana teachings and practices. Am I ready to go and seek that? You yourself will those teaching, understanding of the teachings and the practice will lead you to understand, okay, now I'm ready. And that's the best way to make the decision. Not to ask somebody, am I ready? Not to ask to go some gurus and can you do an observation for me to take this deity's practice, which quite many people do. And in that case, I'm quite, sometimes I'm quite surprised. Westerners are very generally speaking, very much science-based, then they say, oh, we are very skeptical, we are very intellectual, but in some areas they are very, very naive, in a very sort of, very naive, just go there and ask somebody, you know, do observation, can I take this initiation? That's a very naive way to approach, and in that way, make lots of mistakes, you know, lots of mistakes. So the, if individuals, you know, the lay down the foundation, then, you know, like here, we, we, uh, we have the education. First you go to the kindergarten, then go through that. Then when you have the, you know, the A-level or whatever, then and you say, yeah, now I'm ready to go to there. And it, the institution will accept when you give the, your certificate. But you know, the going through Buddhism, the spiritual different stages are not like that. Individuals need to nurture himself or herself through the teachings, through the practice then he or she will know whether he's ready or not, even whether it's him, himself or herself need bhajana practice or not. 